joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. This is day 12 of the 12 days of Christmas and this is actually going to be a gift card holder. I'm using this myself this year. So I've got an H&M gift card. It slides right inside there. You can add some tissue paper or something behind there and you can hang it right on the tree if you would like. Okay, so I'm going to put this in a safe spot because this actually is someone's gift card. I don't want to lose that. The stamp set that we're using is Watercolor Christmas. And then here are the supplies. B. Mary Designer Series Paper that measures 9x9, nine nine, Garden Green Cardstock, and Whisper White. Both of these are scraps just to cut out our circles using the layer and circle framelits. Okay, the first thing we'll do is go ahead and stamp our image so that we can give that a chance to dry. Cherry Cobbler ink. Okay, we'll set that aside. Now, this is 9x9. Nine nine. You can use 6x6. Six six. I showed this project during um, the 12 weeks of Halloween. So that was a 6x6 six six size. This is a 9x9 nine nine size. Okay, so we're just going to fold it point to point. And I can't remember. Um, I think I'm supposed to be doing it this way. I am. So this is going to be on the outside. Okay. Now what I want to do is fold this down to about one inch from the bottom. Okay. It's going to look just like that. Then what you want to do is take the right corner and keep it under this fold line, okay? And then bring it over here. And I don't want it to exceed, like if you fold this down, ideally you don't want that to exceed it, okay? If that makes sense. So it's not gonna go all the way to the tip or the end. Your bone folder is helpful. And then now you're going to bring the left corner, same thing, over here. And you just want to keep it under that, okay? See? And here's your pocket. You can also use 12 by 12 if you want to. So I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive here just to hold that flap down. Wasn't that easy? So let's get the big shot and let's cut out our circles. Okay, so I've got the big shot, magnetic platform, cutting pad. We'll start with the image. And we are cutting off just a tad of that swirly uh, T, but that's okay. No one knows it but us, right? And then now we're going to cut out the garden green scallop circle. bring all this back in here. I've got my little uh, gold library clip up here and then we've got the scallop circle and our greeting. So I'm just going to use snail to attach those and put a dimensional on the back of this. We're going to take the metallic enamel shapes and add a star. And you can add a star to either of these. You can add it to this one, you can add it here, or you can add it here, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to add it to this one just to be a little different from the original one. We have one more step. What we're going to do is take the um, burlap. I'm going to take two strands of it. Hopefully I've got two strands here in my possession. I do. So I'm just going to tie a bow using two strands. You got to have ribbon, right? Okay. 
Okay, we're just going to trim the ends. And now I want the ends to kind of curl, so I'm just going to take my bone folder and see how it made it nice and curly. I don't know if you can tell that, but it, they were all straight. So just use your bone folder. And then now I'm going to take a glue dot and add it right up here to the top. See how pretty that is? How it just swirls? It's the little things, right? Okay, so here's the original. Here's the one we just made. Um, it looks like I've, I lowered this just a tad. I could raise it up. <laughs> okay, so I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, and um, have a great day. Thanks so much.